the FACO. They are re-releasing Rebel Technologies series of Euclidean sequencers. There's the Strahea, Logoi, Klasmata, and Foreo. And we get to build the Strahea and the Foreo. Foreo produces pulse width modulation, clock multiplication, and bursts of triggers, so you can get even more complex patterns from the Euclidean rhythms. This is what we received from Bafaka. Let's have a look at the goods. So this is the front panel of the Foreo. What's really nice is this sleek black design that's going to match with the rest of our Eurorack setup very well. And here you see the Rebel Technologies logo. Here we have the necessary components. Not that this is a digital module, so it comes with an Atmel chip preloaded with the required software. What does this do? Um, it looks like a rape whistle. <laughs> this is a special Bafaka rape, rape whistle. whistle. <laughs> this is how you know it's Bafaka. It comes with knurlies that you can screw in by hand and a Ben nut tool. You can tell that Bifaco are experienced at designing kits because it comes with detailed instructions for the builders. So this is a triple function generator. All three inputs are normalized together, which means you can take a one clock signal and process it in the three different ways, or you can use them separately and process three distinct clock signals. Utility modules are the backbone of your rack. They can add interest to any patch. What makes this unique is this series of functions is rarely combined. All the functions are very clearly labeled and controlled by large knobs on the front panel. Pretty. Fingertips, I would say, not big knobs. <laughs> Do you want to say big knobs? <laughs> really big knobs! <laughs> the only thing that we have that comes close to this in terms of utilities is the abstract data event spots. But still this one has some advantages. For one, what you see is what you get. Everything is controlled from the front panel. The second is that all of its functions are available at the same time, whereas with the abstract data events boss, you have to select one function at a time. And the third reason is it's just really affordable. So if you're just building up your rack and you want to get access to some fun utilities functions, you could do worse than to build this Bifaco kit. I'm particularly excited actually about the repetitions because I want to have some of these bursts. And don't forget, utilities are not just fun for gate. You can use them at audio rate and create some really interesting textures. I think we should go home and build this right away. I think we can do it. It looks pretty straightforward and it's all through hole, so it should be fun. Team through hole, yes. Let's start by unboxing the Foreo. This is what you should find. First, wipe down the PCB with some isopropyl alcohol. Next, open bag A and get ready to place the resistors. Start with 11 1K resistors. Next, 951K resistors. We're using tweezers to bend the legs. Next, six 120K resistors. Then, four 10K resistors. We have three sets of three resistors. Use a multimeter to tell them apart. Start with the 100K resistors. Then, the 100 ohm resistors. And finally, the 1M resistors. Then, solder them all into place. When soldering from above, make sure the solder flows all the way through the via. Place two diodes, making sure that the line on each matches that on the silk screen. Then, flip the board and trim the leads. Next, we placed both IC sockets, making sure the notch aligns with that on the silk screen. Use a piece of foam to hold the IC sockets in place while you solder two corner legs on each socket. Make sure the sockets are flush before continuing. Then solder all of the legs. Next, place two 100N capacitors. Then the 10UF capacitor, which is polarized. Then the 16 megahertz resonator. Solder them all into place. Next up, the six transistors. Finally, the voltage regulator. Use tweezers to align the legs with the holes on the board. 
solder them all into place. Then give the PCB a bath as you won't have another chance. Next up is the control hardware. First is the power connector. Solder two corners first and make sure it's flush with the board. Put a nut on the six potentiometers. Then place them on the board. Next, place all of the jacks. Then place the LEDs in the holes. Wiggle the panel into place and attach it with a few nuts. Put some tape on the LED holes and wiggle them until they're flush with the front panel. Then solder everything into place. Give the PCB another isopropyl alcohol bath. Next, place the ICs. Press the legs down on the table to flatten them slightly. Then, place all of the nuts. The red Benna nuts are for outputs, the black are for inputs. Finally, turn down all potentiometers and place the knobs. You may have to press hard. Give the unit a smoke test and you're done. Because we are building our dream case for the channel, we had to take our previous setup apart, so we couldn't record original music with the Foreo for this build video. Instead, what you heard was mostly composed with help of the Stichia. To make up for that, I'm going to show you a patch demo with the Foreo. The first thing we're going to do is an audio rate patch, where we're going to add texture to our sound. We begin with a square wave from the Disting. This is the basic square wave coming out of the Disting. And this is the square wave after applying pulse width modulation with the Foreo. I'm also filtering this through 3 toms MS-22. Now, let's add some modulation. We can increase the intensity of the modulation here. The next thing we'll do is we'll add the output of the repetitions function from the Foreo. This adds overtones because for each pulse wave you now get several repetitions. By dialing in the number of repetitions, we alter the character of the sound. We get this really nice, slightly distorted sound. It reminds me a little bit of an old dial-up modem. The number of repetitions is being modulated by marbles. And we can control the intensity of the modulation here. So for this second patch, I'll quickly demonstrate how you can use the Foreo to process trigger signals. For this patch, I've got the Tuesday clocking the dot sequencer, and the dot sequencer is patched into the Foreo, where it's being processed by the multiplier 
and the repetitions. Both of these trigger signals are mixed in my Antumba 6 mix, and the resulting triggers are triggering the Metallotron by Skulls and Circuits, which I have on loan from 3-ton. Let's start by laying down a bass drum from the proc bass drum. Now we'll add a sound from the Metallotron. Now let's open up the CV for the multiplier. And that is how you can use Foreo to create more interesting trigger patterns. The music that you heard during our build was largely made with the Sahia, and this is because we had to empty out our Eurorack for a very special project that's been brewing. Do you want to bring in the project? Okay. Be prepared for some grunting and moaning. <laughs> This is going to be the official Channel 37 case, which we custom build with the help of my uncle, Eric Cortos Altus, an excellent carpenter. But it did require us to empty out our racks, so we had to compose some of the music ahead of time when we hadn't finished the Foreo yet. Uh, so we tried to make up for that with a short demo of the Foreo itself. Keep your eyes peeled for our build video of this case. We'll review the Foreo ballroom style. Let's start with the face category. Lily, what do you think? Face-wise, absolutely gorgeous. Seamless design, in my opinion, and I think it looks extremely aesthetic with our other modules on the rack, so 10 out of 10. The second category is Crave. Do you crave it? At first I wasn't sure, because I thought we have the Event Boss by Abstract Data, which is like my favorite function generator in the rack, but I found out that the Foreo has some unique advantages, mainly that all three of the functions are simultaneously available, so you can use three different functions at the same time, and you can also combine them. So I was ha actually having a lot of fun with it, and it's gonna stay. The next category is Groove. Do you think it grooves? Yes. I could see myself using it to generate complex textures and to create interesting modulations of rhythmic patterns. And the final category is Noob. How easy is it to build? What do you think, Lily? Extremely easy. This is a great beginner project. Lots of through hole, really easy soldering. Definitely noob friendly. 10 out of 10. How long did it take to build it? Um, under a half an hour, I believe. So yeah, if you don't have much time as well, it's perfect. <laughs> don't have much time. If you don't have much time, you definitely need to get into Eurorack. Because <laughs> that's like easy breezy. Yeah, easy breezy. Also, yeah, if you don't have yeah. any money, if you great don't thing have... for you. If you don't have much time, a lot of synthesizers have preset functions nowadays. Yeah, just <laughs> did they do it for you. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to do anything. <laughs> all in all, this was a great build and we really love the Foreo. It's definitely going to have a permanent place in our rack. We have some really exciting new things coming up with the case build video and some other um, exotic modules. Uh, please like and subscribe, it would really help us out. And thank you so much for your support. Stay tuned for next time. See you around. Good. Yeah.